starting to have women snapping out shooting men. We starting to have men snapping out shooting women. It, it, it's gone far enough, people. The, the words have power and the words, the power of the words have started to manifest themselves. It's gone far enough. Now it's time for this stuff to stop. It's time for it to stop. And that's why I did that video talking about Umar that matters because his, his solution and him and all the rest of these pro-black fools, their solution is to keep grinding metal against metal until the whole engine blows up. Because that's the only result that's going to happen. We have no lubrication between us. We have no room no more. It's metal on metal. It's ideology on ideology. Stubbornness on stubbornness. Belief on belief. It's not going to give. It's going to rub to the damn thing explode. So why not just leave it alone? Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Once you reach, once you reach an impasse with human beings, that's it, bro. See, I'm a street dude. I'm a street dude, man. We one thing in the streets we understood is that if we get to a point where we just not seeing eye to eye, the only thing we can do is, is stare at each other way or, 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 or go at it. You know, we have a saying in New Orleans. It's an old school saying: when somebody wrong you, we would say, "Man, I wouldn't have no understanding if he did me that." And what what that saying means is that if somebody had done that to me, there is nothing that person could say that's going to get me to accept it as a plausible or an acceptable explanation for their actions. I have no understanding. And though that might sound weird, but truth be told, we all reach that point sometimes with, with, with different situations and different people. We reach a point where there's nothing that the other side can tell us that's going to be acceptable. It's going to that, it, to us, even if you feel like where well, it's not that serious, to you, to me, it's at that point where I have no understanding. And the truth of the matter is, I've been at that point with black women, to, to be honest with you. Love them to death. They are my sisters. I am here for them. You know, if I can help them, I'll help them. If I can talk to them, talk them down, talk them up the ledge, I'll do whatever I can. But as far as, as an intimate, long time relationship now nah, i mean you want to just be, be smashing and hitting i mean i'm fine but if you talk about like an intimate long-term meaningful relationship i'm not even trying it i'm not even trying it with a black woman because i have no understanding you know what i'm saying listen feminism has ruined the mindset of black women fundamentally even the good sisters have been touched by that mentality and I simply am at a point in life where I'm, I don't want to be trying to argue with somebody about something that should be so fundamental as understanding why you either have peace or you seek it elsewhere. Very simple. There is nothing normal about clashing and, and, and conflicts and arguments and all this. That's not normal. I don't know who told y'all it was normal, but they lie. It is not normal. So I don't want to put partake in that. If that's your idea of a relationship, I don't want it. If your idea of a relationship is that you do it, whatever the heck you want to do, you know, uh, when you want to do it, how you want to do it, there's no structure, no order, I don't want that either. And I, there's no need arguing about it. There's no need fussing about it. Because I've made it clear already, man, that the role of a man is serious. And if a woman don't understand it and can't respect that, I'm damn sure not messing with it. Because if I'm going to be expected to put my life on the line to protect somebody, she's going to play by certain rules. Period. Now, do I, do that, does that mean I'm going to treat her like I own her? No. But I am going to treat her as if I'm responsible for her, which I am. And if a woman don't understand that, man, I'm just not going to argue, bro. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is that, personally, I reached the impasse a long time ago. And I just walked away. 
say I'm not gonna get caught up in this shit. I'm just gonna go on and just find my own way elsewhere. Who, you know, whatever I click with, fine, you know. But I mean, it's not like I went out saying I'm not gonna date a white or black woman no more, or marry a black woman. If I'd have met one, I'd have met one. But I knew that the fundamental core belief system that they hold is not one I want around me. And now we got black men that act the same on the other side of the coin. This whole rape pill has done to black men exactly what feminism did to black women. And, and, and then you're adding the fact that rape pill ideology is fundamentally conservative. You really have a problem now. Because now these black men are really just turned inside out against their own people. Because you can say what you want, conservatism is racist. It's racist at its core. I don't want to hear about what the definition is. You judge a thing by its nature. You judge a thing by its action. You don't tell me what it means. I'm not going to watch you. Don't tell me what, what, what y'all believe when I can see y'all actions. Your actions tell me what you believe. Your actions tell me everything I need to know about what you believe. So the fact that Red Pill ideology, if more, MGTOW, all of these things are fundamentally conservative, you have a problem now with these black men. So not only have they been twisted inside out and turned upside down against black women, they've been turned upside down and inside out against black people in general. So, the, so they sit there and they talk about black women all day. That's only because they don't honestly believe they can go nowhere else. So their belief system is that they're gonna to try to find a way to beat black women into submission. That's what all this stuff is about. The same thing black women thought they was gonna do through feminism, starting in the 50s and 60s and 70s, thought they would just browbeat black men into submission. And what happened is, as time went on, more and more black men just dated women of other races. To the point now where they started trying to shame us. Oh, y'all just can't handle us. Oh, y'all just not good enough. You know what I'm saying? More and more just kept leaving. But now you got a segment of black men that does the same thing. They don't want to leave, but they can't get along with the women either. If you obviously have a problem, you seek to solve it. But thinking that you're going to force another human being to be the way you want them to be to your benefit, that is crazy. That's lunacy. It's not going to happen. Your only option is to walk away from each other and maintain your friendships. We are still brothers and sisters. Walk away from each other, maintain your friendships. Learn to like each other organically again. Learn to become friends with each other organically again. I have lifelong friends right now that the first time we met, we actually clashed. Two of them, we had fights. And just through a, 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 the inner workings of street life, you know, knowing somebody, know somebody that, that, that links us and we end up having to be around each other, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, have a temporary truce and, you know, and, you know, we start talking by accident, you know what I'm saying? Before you know it, we find out that we actually just alike. And now we jam. Now, right now, we talk to each other. Call each other up. We see each other. Man, what's up, man? How you been, bro? What's been up? You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's all love. But our first interaction was chaos. If we can get past that kind of stuff, black men and women can get past this. But we got to walk to get past it. But the first step to getting past it is letting everything go. Black women are not going to admit culpability or they're not going to take responsibility. They're not going to take accountability. They're not doing it. Some of them are so twisted and deluded that they actually believe the rhetoric that they spew. Okay, rewind that. On the other side, you have these red pill type black men. They are so twisted and deluded that they actually believe the nonsense that they spew. When you got both sides that actually believe it, you don't have a, you don't have no room for negotiation. There's nothing to talk about. The men have no understanding and the women have no understanding. So what are we doing? What was the point of it? 
What's the point of making video after video of Prince and Kier? Talking about black women three times a day live, six days a week. What's the point? You've been doing this five years. What, is, what your purpose is? What's your purpose? All these, all the men in these spaces. These people serve nothing more than chaos. At some point, you gotta ask, what's the point of it all? What are y'all trying to do? But we just exposing, or we just talking, or we just getting people to understand, understand what? Because see, as a street dude, I'm solution-based. I don't like chaos. I, I, I confront it. I either deal with it or we try to avoid each other. And then we, if our paths cross and we just can't avoid each other no more, then we're going we, we gonna to go to the second level. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the second level is, we're going to move on to the second level. If avoidance is not good enough, we're going to go to the second level. But the one thing I'm not going to do is be sitting around talking about dude all day and dude not about to be sitting around talking about me all day. We're not about to do that. We're not about to do that. We either going to get at it or we're going to leave it alone. And since there's nothing, getting at it is not that. Y'all already at it. This is the equivalent of a war that you have going on between the black men and black women. That's the equivalent of a war. So the war has already begun. So what's your next step? Fight till the end? Or just end it, man, walk away? Because it's a virtual war anyway. And, and the real violence is starting to leak over, man. We starting to have real violence. We starting to have women snapping out shooting men. We starting to have men snapping out shooting women. It, it, it's gone far enough, people. The, the words have power and the words, the power of the words have started to manifest themselves. It's gone far enough. Now it's time for this stuff to stop. It's time for it to stop. And that's why I did that video talking about Umar that matters because his, his solution and him and all the rest of these pro-black fools, their solution is to keep grinding metal against metal till the whole engine blows up. Because that's the only result that's going to happen. We have no lubrication between us. We have no room no more. It's metal on metal. It's ideology on ideology. Stubbornness on stubbornness. Belief on belief. It's not going to give. It's going to rub to the damn thing explode. So why not just leave it alone? Because y'all don't really seek peace. All you fake dudes claim to be Muslim. Y'all don't seek the ultimate peace. All Islam. You should seek peace. When you meet your brother, you say, Assalamu alaikum. Hebrews, when you meet your brothers and sisters, you say, Shalom alaikum. You supposed to come in peace. Be peaceful then. Leave this madness alone. We have no solution with black women, my brothers. Sisters, you have no solution with black men. It's past that. Leave it alone. And then learn how to deal with each other from a position of strangers instead of a position of you have to deal with me. You have to accept me. You have to like me. You have to do what I want you to do. You have to be what I want you to be. No, we are all human beings. Leave it alone and then learn to readjust yourself and learn to re-engage as autonomous human beings. Learn to love each other again as brothers and sisters instead of spouses. Stop meeting everybody, asking people deep questions like you interviewing everybody you meet for marriage. Everybody you meet is not going to be is not going to be suitable for you in your personal life. And you get to know that not by grilling them the day you meet them. You get to know that through friendship. I don't be in a friend zone. We are all in the friend zone in the beginning. That's where you should be. Now, I know I'm speaking technical here. I know the way they do friend zone is different. We not, I, I don't hang with women. You know what I'm saying? I don't hang with women. Me and, me and a woman would never be buddy-buddy to the point where we just hanging out like two girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I don't do that. We ain't going to get our nails done and all that. If you see me hanging out with a woman, we either doing something constructive together or I'm banging her. I mean, it's just that simple. 
or, or she's somebody I'm going to be banging. We are casually dating. It's one of the two, one of the three. We either casually dating, we might not be sexually active, but we casually dating, we actually banging, or we doing some business-wise. But as far as us just being like the kind of friends, like your peer type friend, no, I'd I, 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 I never be that kind of friend with a woman. She is a female, I am a man. We don't, we, don't, we don't do things the same, we don't act the same, we don't move the same. We have no business being those kinds of friends. Like the friendship I have with my boys, I never have with a woman. She can't be that way with me. And the friendship she had with her girlfriend, she can't be, I would never be like that with her. So that's not the friend zone I'm talking about. But I'm talking about in reality, we are all in the friend zone when we meet each other. That's why you should be. You work your way through stages. You're a stranger, then you're a friend, then you're casually dating, then you move on. Learn how to work through the stages, people. The problem is y'all think everybody y'all meet is a potential man. That's why y'all y'all marriages don't last. Not everybody is suitable for you in your personal life. Not everybody you like is going to be suitable for you in your personal life. You know what I mean? You can feel a person. You can like a person a lot, man. You think this man is handsome. You think this woman is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You think that dude got that, that, that thing between his legs. You think, man, she got that wet, wet. You know, it don't matter. Not everybody is still for you in the personal realm of things, man. So y'all got to stop and meet people and start pulling out your, your, your questions, you know, and start going down your checklist. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Get to know people, man. We need to, first of all, we need to stop thinking that, that black men owe themselves to black women. We got to stop thinking that black women owe themselves to black men. Break off from that mentality and start from scratch. If you don't do that, this is gonna be going on telling tell, tell white folks finally figure out a way to, to wipe us all out. Because we are very distracted right now. We're not doing nothing protective and we are wide open right now. We are wide open. Y'all always talk about us together as, as a collective. And a, man, well, don't y'all know that if, if, if there's an internal war going on, those people cannot defend themselves from external wars, from external attacks. It's chaos now. Now it's time for somebody like Asadu a lot to step in and say, hold on, it's time to stop this. Brothers and sisters, it's time to stop this fight. The brothers not gonna make the sisters understand what they're saying, and the sisters not gonna make the brothers understand what they're saying. So how about y'all just leave each other alone? Leave each other alone and learn to just see your brothers and sisters out and about, learn to talk to each other like people again. Try that. Be civilized, be human. Be human. Don't be black. Be human. Just think about it. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha Salon. And remember, y'all, I'm going to start live streaming soon. I ordered the camera. I'm going to start live streaming soon. I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing on the software. I got to figure it out. I have a camera I'm practicing with. I'm waiting for a new camera to come, a better camera, because I want my stuff looking nice. I know y'all notice the quality of my videos. I don't believe in putting out trash. I don't believe in putting out junk. I try to do things that look nice and professional because that's just the way I am. I'm not a professional video, video, videographer. I don't know what I'm doing, but I made sure that before I dropped a single video, it looked good enough. And I've only gotten a little better as time went on. I know y'all notice the quality of the videos, like I said. So I'm trying to make sure my live streams look nice. You know, I, I'm, I'm not particular on Buying a bunch of fake stuff to have behind me. You're not gonna see no robots and toys behind me like some of these dudes call themselves men. You know, I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanna make sure that, you know, I do the green screen. I'll be in a room. So all it is is just a normal room, but I'm gonna have a green screen. I wanna have my, my banners or whatever I want behind me. I want it looking nice. I want everything clean and, and crisp. So I'll order another camera and um, as soon as I do a little practice, I'm going to start doing live streams on probably on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So be on the lookout for that. That's it. That's the only message. On that note, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's the only announcement. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. And once again, I'm out of here. Salam. So